Welcome back to another Trailby tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a script uh, that you found online. Uh, we're going to try and do it with this with maybe HTML and PDF. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just go, uh, actually, we're just going to leave everything like it is now because I found a, a script. If you actually go to uh, IMDB, imsdb.com, um, you can get the scripts for uh, certain movies. So we'll go to this one here, Coco. I guess I'll include the link in the description of this video. So this movie, Coco, great movie, right? My kids love this movie. We can go to read Coco script. So this is the script for it, and it's just in raw text, which means we can copy this. So we'll just highlight, maybe we'll highlight about, oh, let's just highlight the whole, maybe not the whole thing, but we'll highlight a bunch of it. And then we'll go to here, we'll right click and go to copy. And then we'll, uh, on our desktop, I'm just going to right click and go new text document, ah, wrong one, right click, new text document. And then we click, um, we'll just call it Coco, and we open it and paste this in here. So we go to paste, file, save, and that's all we gotta do. Now, in Trailby, and I'm doing this for the first time, so um, let's see if it works. We go to import. We select this text. Uh, the import tool, what it does, since this is just a text file, it's not a, a from another uh, script writing software. So it's gonna go through and say, all right, how would you like to import this? We can do 127 lines with that has 18 characters. We can do this as six characters. So there's some different, some different modes we can choose from, and it shows us how it will look down here. Um, so maybe we just do this first one. This is and this is the dialogue. We can change this to scene and action. So we can see. All right, what is this here? This 127 lines. Yeah, this looks like dialogue down here. So we'll hit OK, and it brings it in. And now we see if we select this, it says this is action. If we go here, it says this is action. If we click here, it says this is scene. If we go here, this is action. If we go to this person, it's a character. So this actually imported it correctly just off of those settings. So now you have to play with it a little bit, but this imported this text very well, and that's because it was already formatted very well here. It recognized this indentation and this capital uppercase, and it recognized this as an action, this as a character, this as dialogue. Uh, so you see how that works? So now we actually have this as a script in here, and now what we can do is pull a report. We can do a character report for all these different characters, and we can see, we didn't copy the whole script of Coco, but we can see Miguel has 19 speeches and 200 words, and Miguel is in these different scenes. Scene 15, the Riviera workshop. Scene 4, the dining area. And so we can pull these reports and see what's happening. So... It's a pretty cool thing. Trouble is a pretty good tool, not just for writing, but also for analyzing existing scripts and movies. Uh, it, can be, it can be really useful that way. Let's try one more. Let's go to this uh, Back to the Future one I had. So this one is from this website, and it just happened to be HTML, so I just highlighted it. I went to right-click, copy. But maybe we have a PDF, which is even harder. If we try to import a PDF file, it, it, it doesn't do it very well because PDF files are kind of unique. So for the PDF file, what we need to do is just highlight everything in here. I'm gonna, I'm holding down the left mouse clicker and I'm scrolling down. I'm gonna right click and go copy. We're gonna try the same thing. So we're gonna go to the desktop. We're gonna right click and go new uh, text document. We'll call this one back to the future. We'll open it and we'll go to paste and we go to file, uh, save. And again, I haven't really actually done this yet either per se. I, I mean, had it work well in Trailby. So we go to File, Import, and we choose this one. Uh, and now this one doesn't give us nearly as many options. So it doesn't really know what all this stuff is. So it's, this is saying like, you know, what's the style here? I guess we'll just, I don't think this one's going to come in very clearly. No, it's definitely not. So I guess the PDF, um, maybe we have to work with a little bit. I mean, we did get the text here. But it, it thinks all of this is action. And that's because when we pasted it in, in here, just the method that we got it, we just pasted it as a bunch of raw text. So it did not preserve the indentation. So we would need to work on the, the method that we're using to copy this. We need to copy it while preserving indentation, which might mean using a different, I think if we use something like LibreOffice. Do I have LibreOffice installed here? Yeah, so we could maybe put it in LibreOffice, and I think we can preserve some of that indentation. Let's see, paste. Oh, no, even that doesn't preserve it. Anyway, so the trick to doing the PDFs is going to be to preserve that indentation somehow. There's ways to do it. Um, I'll play with that and maybe show you in a future video. 
Anyway, but that's how you can get, you can copy text from at least if you have a site like this. Um, if you have some, some raw text that will let you copy and preserve indentation, then you can bring it into Trovi. So not just the supported file formats of, uh, you know, the ones here. We got final, final draft Celtics. Not only those, anything in a .txt file that you can bring in that has preserved indentation can be brought in relatively easy. Hopefully you found this video informative. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Leave your questions or comments below if you have any. And I look forward to seeing you in a future tutorial.